India's fourth nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine designated S-4 Star has sailed out from the secretive shipbuilding centre in Visakhapatnam for sea trials, marking the final push toward commissioning around late 2027 or early 2028. This 7,000-ton vessel stretches the Aryan-class design further with expanded missile compartments housing eight vertical launch tubes for K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missiles reaching 3,500 kilometers, paired with an upgraded 83-megawatt pressurized water reactor delivering 30,000 shaft horsepower through a shaft line turning a seven-bladed skewed propeller. S-4 Star builds on lessons from INS Arihant and INS Arihat by enlarging the pressure hull to 6.2 meters diameter amidships, segmented into seven watertight compartments with double hull construction forward and single hull aft, using high-yield submarine steel equivalent to HYIT grade sourced domestically from Mishra Datu Nigam after initial Russian imports. The hull penetrates water at speeds up to 24 knots submerged on battery power or 16 knots on nuclear drive, diving to 300 meters operational depth with emergency blow capabilities tested during initial dockside trials. Sea trials for S-4 Star commence with surface runs verifying propulsion, steering gear and auxiliary diesels rated at 2000 kilowatts each for low-speed transit or battery charging followed by submerged speed trials pushing the pump jet propulsor to full cavitation margins. The reactor core, fueled with 25% enriched uranium oxide pellets clad in zircaloid cubes arranged in 167 assemblies moderated by light water, achieves criticality months ahead in land-based prototype testing at Kalpakam, sustaining 90% power output continuously for 10 years before refueling. Steam generators transfer heat to two main turbine spinning reduction gears connected to the shaft, while turbo generators provide propulsion-independent electrical power at 6 MW total for high-power sonar sweeps or missile pre-launch sequences. S-4 STARS trials include full-power submerged runs off Andhra Pradesh coast, testing reactor safeguards like boron injection systems and control rod drives hydraulically actuated from the control room separated by two bulkheads from the reactor bay. Vertical launch system on S-4 STAR accommodates eight K-4 missiles in two rows of four, each tube 3.5 meters diameter cold launched by high-pressure gas generators before solid rocket ignition in the first stage. K-4 carries a one-ton re-entry vehicle with 3,500 kilometer range. Mark 7 terminal velocity, inertial navigation mid-course updated by ring laser gyros and stellar fixers, plus terminal radar seeker for moving targets, tested successfully from INS Arihat in Bay of Bengal late 2024. Complementing K-4, S-4 Star retains 24 K-15 Sagarika missiles in four tubes, each 750 km range, depressed trajectory for coastal targets, solid full two-stage with thrust vector control vanes, and maneuvering re-entry vehicles spinning at 300 IP and for stability. Missile hatches hydraulically operated seal with double O-rings, gas blowout panels vent launch exhaust into the sea, and fire control integrates with the combat information center using gallium nitride processors, fusing data from flank arrays and towed sonar. Sonar suite on S-4 star advances with bow spherical array covering 1 Hz to 10 kHz using ceramic transducers in oil-filled domes, detecting acoustic signatures of Type 2, 1, 2 diesel-electric subs at 40 km passive range. Flank-mounted linear arrays along the pressure hull pick up radiated noise from surface ships or cavitating propellers, while low-frequency towed arrays streamed at 200 meters behind the rudder resolves diesel-electric quieting at 60 km slant range. Intercept sonar on the sail listens for active pings from adversary sonoboys or dipping halos, processing with adaptive beamforming algorithms rejecting reverberation. S-4 star trials validate sonar performance against live targets including P-8I maritime patrol aircraft dropping sonoboys and kilo-class subs, simulating People's Liberation Army Navy hunters off Visakhapatnam. Electronic warfare systems feature digital receivers scanning 2 to 18 gigahertz for missile radars or active sonars, decoys including angled torpedo countermeasures ejected from stern tubes and rocket launch noisemakers simulating submarine cavitation. Periscopes upgraded to photonic mast with infrared cameras and laser range finders extend search periscope to 12 meters height, feeding high-definition images to periscope control room consoles with image stabilization handling 20 degree per second rolls. S-4 Star's communication includes very low-frequency receivers embedded in the sail for submerged orders from shore stations at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, extremely low-frequency antennas trailed on the hull for strategic forces command alerts, and satellite comms via retractable buoys for burst transmissions when surfaced or at periscope depth.
S4 star integrates with Project Varsha underground pens berthing undetected during maintenance. Patrol areas avoid choke points like Malacca Strait basing in Andaman Sea Trenties 2000 meters deep for acoustic masking. K4 re-entry vehicle deploys decoys and chaff at 200 kilometers altitude penetrating terminal defenses at Mach 12. Sonar dome-shaped parabolic minimizes flow noise transducers hydrofoam grade pieces with 90 decibel sensitivity. Reactor steam bypasses to desuperheaters prevent turbine overspeed, condensers vacuum maintained at 0.05 bars. Shaft seals use mechanical faces with silicon carbide rings leaking 0.01 liters per hour seawater. Missile vapor recovery systems scrub hydrogen fluoride exhaust maintaining compartment habitability. Trials include full depression dives to 400 meters verifying hull penetrations hold at 100 bars external pressure. Crew medical base stocks anti-radiation drugs. Hyperbaric chamber treats bends from escapes. Strategic value lies in assured second strike from ocean depths, K4 reaching all strategic centers undetected. S4 star completes Arihan stretch variants, paving S5 with vertical launch system for 16 missiles. Reactor instrumentation monitors flux tilts via self-powered detectors, predicting fuel depletion to 0.1% accuracy. Pump jet impeller forged from titanium alloy 64, blades twisted 15 degrees for broadband quieting. Combat information center plots three-dimensional submarine tracks from multi-static sonar pings bounced off sea surface. S4 star sails represent India's SSBN maturity for both by 2030 ensuring continuous deterrent patrols. Propulsor on S4 Star uses pump jet with 7 curved stator vents ahead of rotor blades optimized for 12 Hz tip speed, shrouded duct reducing tip vortex cavitation by 50% over open propellers. Shaft line supported by tilting pad bearings lubricated by seawater compatible synthetics. Vibration isolated by viscoelastic mounts tuned to skip hull resonance frequencies. Trials measure propulsor efficiency at 85% across 10 to 20 knots. Acoustic signature matching quietest Western SSPNs per open source estimates. Combat systems integrate three dimensional multi function radar when surfaced, intercepting surface to air threats, plus electronic support measures classifying BrahMos seeker types. Torpedo room stocks 32 heavyweight Varunastra wire guided missiles with wake homing seekers for Type 2 3 9 adversaries. Launched from 6 to 1-inch tubes, forward angle 15 degrees. Trials fire inert torpedoes at submerged targets towed by surface ships, verifying fire control solutions from sonar tracks updated at 10 Hz. S4 stars sail houses photonics mast, two search periscopes and retractable dive planes, hydroplanes on stern providing yaw control at high speeds. Rudder and stern planes angle 20 degrees for circling at periscope depth without cavitation. Ballast tanks flood in 90 seconds to dive, blow valves dumping compressed air at 4000 psi for emergency surfacing, tested to 20 knot headway. Patrol doctrine positions S4 star in bastion south of Diego Garcia or east of Nicobar, coordinated with P8 eye sweeps and INS Chakra 3 attack sub screening approaches. K4 salvo of four missiles covers 400,000 square kilometers footprint, overlapping Agni V land strikes for saturation. Reactor refueling every 10 years swaps core in dry dock at Visakhapatnam, spent fuel stored in boron lined casks. Advancements over Arighat include doubled missile tubes versus 12 K15s. Reactor power up 15% for faster transits. Sonar processing on field programmable gate arrays handling 1000 beams simultaneously. Hull form refined with computational fluid dynamics reducing drag coefficient by 7%, extending battery life to 72 hours at 3 knots. Crew training cycles through submarine escape simulators at Kochi, reactor mock-ups at Trombe and missile simulators at Hyderabad achieving 70% automation in routine monitoring. Strategic Forces Command certifies launch authority through dual key codes transmitted via ALF, executed from armored safe in captain's cabin. S4 star commissioning integrates with Aridhaman already in final trials, forming two SSBN deterrent patrol, while S5 class 13,500 ton boats lay keels with 12 missile tubes for K5 6,000 km SLBMs. Sea trials log 5,000 nautical miles submerged, 200 dives, and full weapon loads before clearance. K4 guidance fuses global navigation satellite system updates via pop-up antenna with terrain contour matching for terminal accuracy under jamming 
warhead yield in megaton class per doctrinal ambiguity. Launch platform stabilized by active fin controls compensating 5 degree rolls. Sonar signal processing rejects false contacts using neural networks trained on Indo-Pacific acoustics classifying Yuan class pumps or Song class diesels by blade rate harmonics. Toad array amplifier chains boost signal to noise by 60 decibels resolving targets in littorals cluttered by shrimp snaps. Reactor scram test during trials inject gadolinium nitrate solution, diluting reactivity by 2% per minute. Boron sheets on control rods absorbing 99% neutrons. Emergency cooling sprays seawater over core post scram. Propulsion trials measure shaft horsepower via torsion meters, confirming 30,000 shaft horsepower peaks without exceeding hull girder stresses, at 300 megapascals yield strength. Missile hot fires deferred to post commissioning from open ocean. Coal launches verified with instrumented dummies tracking gas dynamics. S4 star hull wells inspected by phased array ultrasonics detecting 0.5 mm cracks. Pressure tested to 1.5 times collapse depth. Operational tempo sustains two patrols yearly per boat, overlapping Arikhat cycles for continuous sea presence. K-15 quad packs 4 per tube for saturation against tactical targets, pop-up trajectory peaking 50 km for radar evasion. Electronic warfare launches 24 decoys per salvo, simulating multiple submarines with broadband noise shifters. Crew rotates every 90 days via covert resupply from DSRV mini-subs or surface transfers. S4 Star achieves noise levels matching Ohio class upgrades per independent analysis, pump jet efficiency peaking at Mach 0.08 flow speeds. Reactor fuel lattice optimized for burn-up exceeding 40,000 megawatt days per ton, plutonium bred in thorium blanket for future course. Combat data links via laser terminals with surface fleets exchange tracks at 1 megabit per second submerged via towed fiber optics. Torpedo countermeasures pattern ejected form barrier at 15 knot spread. Acoustic intercepts homing on heavyweight threats at 40 kilometers. Periscope optics resolve 200 line pairs per millimeter at infinity. Infrared channels spotting diesel plumes at 10 nautical miles. Crew of 110 on S4 Star lives in six bunk capsules with oxygen generation from electrolysis and carbon dioxide scrubbers using monoethanolamine, galley producing 2000 calories daily per sailor from stored provisions lasting 90 days. Habitability trials during sea runs test air revitalization, desalination plants producing 50 tons freshwater daily, and waste processing to avoid trailing debris. Damage control stations monitor flooding via ultrasonic level sensors, pumping sets rated at 200 tons per hour per compartment, and fire mains pressurized to 12 bars with aqueous film forming foam for reactor bay protection. S4 Stars hull incorporates anechoic tiles absorbing 80% sonar energy above 5 kHz, reducing radiated noise to below 100 decibels at 5 knots by enclosing machinery in elastomeric mounts and using flexible piping. Operational profile for S4 Star begins with loading missiles at Hazelhurst Pier under nuclear security protocols, transit south through Bay of Bengal to patrol areas in mid-Indian Ocean, maintaining 20 meters draft surfaced or 40 meters submerged at snorkel depth. Once on station, S4 Star goes deep to 200 meters, streaming toad array and running flank sonars continuously, reactor at 20% power for silent running. Patrol endurance hits 90 days limited by food, with K-4 missiles targeted against Beijing, Shanghai or eastern seaboard from positions south of Sri Lanka, launch sequence taking 15 minutes from order receipt to missile splashdown. In crisis, S-4 Star evades by running silent at 4 knots, layering decoys and transient dives to exploit ocean thermoclines bending sonar paths. Reactor advancements in S-4 Star include plate-type heat exchangers boosting thermal efficiency to 33% versus 28% on Arihan reducing coolant pump noise by enclosing rotors in anechoic shrouds. Control rods scram in 30 milliseconds on seismic sensors detecting torpedo warheads, passive shutdown via negative temperature coefficient halving reactivity on overheating. Shielding uses boron carbide polyethylene composites attenuating node flux to workplace limits, with reactor bay ventilated through sacrificial filters trapping iodine-131 in accidents. Land prototype at Kalpakam logged 10,000 hours at full power, validating S-4 star core life to 20 years before plutonium-17 recycling. Missile compartment on S-4 star pressurized to 5 bars launch depth, gas generates producing 2000 kg thrust per tube for cold launch, 
missile rising 30 meters on steam before igniting. K4 first stage burns 80 seconds accelerating to Mach 4, second stage fires at 120 km apogee lofting payload to 1000 km, re-entry vehicle with ablative nose cone and carbon-carbon fin survives 15G maneuvers. Trials from pontoons confirm circular error probable under 100 meters at 3500 km, inertial measurement unit with fiber optic gyros holding azimuth error to 0.05 degrees per hour.